We had progressed to the point of uh, a high-speed taxi run. Um, we had done low-speed taxi. In fact, that's the way the airplane was rolled out and presented to the public, was it taxied up under its own power. Now, I had intended all the way along to put a little bit of daylight under the wheels, maybe, maybe a foot or two, uh, fly it about a thousand feet down the runway and land it. And in the meantime, checking out the lateral or the roll response uh, sensitivity. I uh, started the run, the airplane accelerated very smartly, of course, uh, pulled the power back, and we had a, an unfortunate wiring problem in the airplane where the exhaust nozzle would not open up, thus killing thrust. The airplane uh, was very sensitive in roll. It, uh, it rolled violently left. I countered with an equally violent right uh, command. Uh, it just, we were all instantly in a what's called a pilot-induced oscillation. The airplane rolling back and forth very quickly. It's turning left all this time. I could see it was going to go out into the dirt, so I just powered it up and let go of the controls, just let it fly away. And it made a rather extended turn to the downwind, came around and landed. Uh, most of the flight was uh, done with me barely touching the stick, if at all. We had a full instrumentation system up and running and we learned just an incredible amount of, of data about the airplane that we may not have, have even touched in the prototype test program. Now going to deliver the 4500th airplane. Uh, having been involved in the program from the very beginning, uh, it gives me a great sense of pride, being very thankful to have been a member of the team that produced uh, this remarkable milestone in, in uh, combat aircraft, especially as measured by today's standards.